services. What's your location? Yeah, um, on. We just we just got a tree in our house. The house is gone. Powerful and deadly Hurricane Michael made a landfall Wednesday, October 10 of 2018 near Mexico Beach, Florida, terrorizing homes, snapping trees, and leaving hundreds of thousands powerless. With 155 mile per hour winds at landfall, Michael was nearly a category 5 storm that smashed records as the strongest ever to roar onto the stake's exposed panhandle. It was also the strongest October hurricane on record to make a landfall anywhere in the United States. Florida Governor Rick Scott said, so many lives have been changed forever. So many families have lost everything. This hurricane was an absolute monster. At least 74 people died from the storm, including 59 in the United States and 15 in Central America. We have a tree down and we got animals and the two of us here and the, the back part of the house is totally gone and rain has come through. Okay, listen, hon. Do you have a neighbor's house you can go to until it's passed? No, no, okay. I don't have a neighbor's house. Listen, no, I, the listen. Neighbor's house is also empty. Okay. okay, listen to me, hon. We're taking the brunt force of the storm. It has not even hit us yet, okay? I need you to take a deep breath. What am I supposed to do? Listen, I, listen, to do? listen I need you to take a deep breath. I need you to stay calm. EMS, fire, and law enforcement are not responding. It's not safe. I need you to take your animals and get to the other end of the house. I have put you in my system. As soon as it passes, we will send people out okay please how many people listen ma'am ma'am how many people are in your house there's two people and nine dogs two people and nine dogs okay i've got you in the system and they will try to get out to people just as soon as they can okay please please come on get us please uh, hun, it's gonna, <laughs> ma'am it's going to be after the storm passes where we can get back on the road okay just Take a deep but breath. Man, what are we supposed to do till then? But I'm okay. the house goes. I know half the house is gone, hun, but we can't get on the roads. Oh, please, please come and get us. Please come and get us. Please come and get us. Do, listen, what's, hun, what's your name? Please come and get us. Listen, do you have, I, listen, I know half the house is gone, but do you have another part of the house you can go to? What? Well, is there uh, the other end of the house? I know half your house is gone. Can you go to the other end of the house? Yes. Go to the yes. other end of the house. Put all your animals in a room if you have to. Stay in there. Bunker down. Okay? Please come and get us. Ma'am, ma'am, they will when it passes. I, I, ma'am, I am so sorry, but we will be out there just as soon as we can. Oh, God, please. Ma'am. Please Okay, I understand this is why we urge everybody to evacuate, but when it passes, we have teams that are going to come in and help us get everybody out, okay? What happens if the rest of the house goes, ma'am? Is it a house or is it a mobile home? It's a house, ma'am. It's a house. Okay, did a tornado come or just a tree land on it? Tree fell on it, ma'am. Okay. Okay, I need you to stay where you are. I can't tell you not to be on the road, but it is not safe. Because as quick as it's going into your house, it's, it's flying across, okay? I, but I've got to hang up. How long is it going to be before it's uh, Ma'am, I, I don't know. It could be hours before it passes. I need you to get on the other side of the house and stay there. Okay? All right, we're, we're, we're going to my mom's house. We're putting the kids in the car. We're going to my mom's okay, house. Okay, where is your mom's house? tell you as bad as it is in your house it is 10 times worse outside your house trees telephone poles other houses awnings are flying everywhere right now it is not safe i can't tell you not to move but it is not safe please please stay where you are if you think it's safer because the roads are not godly i mean ma'am we are going Please. Hun, go to the other end of the house, lock yourself in a bedroom. We will be out just as soon as we can. <laughs> okay, take a few deep breaths. You've got to take care of your animals, okay? I don't know where we're going to stay. I don't know where we're going to go. Okay. That, is, that is for after the fact. We, you'll figure it out, but right now stay safe with your animals. Go to the other end of the house, close the door, and stay in there away from the windows, Okay. That is the safest thing for please, you right now. Please come okay. and get us, please. Ma'am, we will when we I can. I got air coming in and everything into the house. That's okay. Go to another end of the house and, and shelter in place, hon, okay? When we... Oh, my God.
Okay, and as long as you, you just put him in the house and shut the door, I have it in my system, and we will respond to pick him up after the storm's done. Do you okay. know what his, do you know, hey, do you know what his name is? No, I don't. All right, hon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh, the baby's turning blue. Baby's turning blue. Okay, where are you at? Wendy, you don't know what What is the address, ma'am? Baby's turning blue. Baby's turning blue. Police have released the traumatic 911 call that prompted an investigation into a Phoenix healthcare facility where an incapacitated woman gave birth. The healthcare workers did not know she was pregnant. Officers were initially called to Hacienda Healthcare around 3.45 p.m. on December 29th in response to an infant code call or an infant in distress. Ma'am, I need an Hello? address. I need an address. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to get paramed paramedics on the line. You need to give them the address again. You said 30? 30? What is it? No, what's the unit number? What's the unit number for our first? No, no, for What is it? What is it? For first. What's the room for? Okay, what's the emergency? Someone just had a baby. One of our patients just had a baby, and we had no idea she was pregnant. Okay, is the baby you are uh, not prepared out? For that. Baby's turning blue. We need someone now. Okay, all right. Go in there with the baby, and I want you to, I want you to walk this through, okay? All right. I'm going to be on the line with you. What's your phone number? Uh, shoot, I don't know what the phone number is for this. Give me one second. I'll find it for you. We have a respiratory over there with them, too. The phone number is... Okay, and the mom is doing okay? Uh, we're not sure. We had no idea this patient was pregnant. Okay, and the this respiratory is... They're doing uh, we have respiratory here and okay, we have they're doing here. compressions or yeah, what's going on right now were we able to get the baby out is the baby breathing is the baby breathing baby's not breathing baby is blue okay so are they doing cpr are they doing C yeah they're doing cpr on the baby okay good just keep going with that and how's the mom doing mom's doing well it looks like she's doing well how far along is she available? we we had no idea this person was pregnant we had no idea this patient was pregnant. Okay, I understand. Did they, does she know how, long, how far along she was or anything? We have no idea. We, okay. This is a complete surprise. We were not expecting this. Okay, and the, the baby is the baby responsive? Or no? Is the baby responsive? No, baby's not responsive. Okay, and they're still doing compressions, right? We're, and they're they're still, yeah, they're still trying to do compressions and they're suctioning the baby. Okay, good, good. You guys are doing a great job. We got help on the way, okay? Alrighty. Thank you. Do I just hang up with you and then just no, go back no, to the just baby? Stay on the line. Stay, stay on, on the line. line. I wanna okay. I wanna see how they're doing, okay? I need you to give me the address. Should we get place. vitals on mom? Here, let's get the vital machine. I want vitals on mom. She had a baby. Look at there's a baby right there. Okay. They're still doing compressions on the baby, right? Yeah, and mom's doing fine. Okay. Mom is doing fine. She is. A, we're gonna about to take some vitals on her, but so far she looks stable. What is your name, ma'am? My name is. And I'm the nurse. How old is we the woman? We take care of. How, how old is? Give me one second. Let me. She'll be something. I can go take a look at her chart and give you uh, the exact. Uh, thank you. Someone's gonna go give me the chart. Oh my goodness. How are we doing with the baby? Is there any signs of life from the baby? Any signs of life from the baby yet? Let me see. I mean, just make sure they're, they're doing the compressions with two fingers in the center of the chest. Yeah. Okay, and then one finger below the nipple line. Let's see. Um, and then they want to push ahead. down an inch and a half, okay? Are you guys still doing compressions on baby? Yeah, they got the baby on an ambu bag. Are you guys still doing? Yeah, I'm on the phone with them right now. Are you still doing compressions on the baby? Okay. They're not they doing compressions. They have an ambu bag on the baby. They have what on the baby? An ambu bag. Is it an AED or what? What What do you What are you saying that is on the baby right now? They have an ambu bag. On the baby. Okay, so are they trying to resuscitate the baby? 
Are you guys still doing because They want you guys to still do compression. The baby's breathing? Oh, the baby's breathing. Oh, my gosh. Thank God. Okay. Okay, and that's, there, that's the baby in the, in the background? We're getting vitals on mom. I'm sorry, you say that again? That's the baby in the background? The, yeah, there's a baby in the back. That's the, is that the baby, the baby crying? crying? Okay, that's good. You guys did great, okay? They're on their way. Okay, we're getting vitals from mom right now. She looks... Police say the baby was in fact in distress, and both mother and child were taken to the hospital, where they are recovering. The unimaginable horror of Jimmy Claw's abduction and the murder of her parents can be heard for the first time. In an eerie audio recording of the Namon Mon call that was made from her mother's cell phone, the call was made just a little before 1 a.m. on a Monday, October 15, from inside of the family home in Barron, Wisconsin. The authorities arrived at the scene only four minutes later and found both James and Denise Claw shot dead at the bloody crime scene. Their teenage daughter Jamie had been dragged away by their killer Jake Patterson. There is very little that can be made out aside from the dispatcher's desperate attempts to make contact with the caller. A muffled scream and sounds of movement can be heard at one point, followed by shouting before the call stops abruptly. The 40-second call has a lot of high-pitched sounds, so if you're wearing headphones or have the volume all the way up, please turn it down. Thank you. The 13-year-old victim was found in Gordon, a remote town 70 miles away from her home in Barron. 88 days after she disappeared on the 15th of October, she walked away from a cabin where she was allegedly held captive and asked Mrs. Nutter who was walking her dog for help. Here's a 911 call of that encounter. I know I don't want to take her Douglas County 911. Hi, I have um, a young lady at my house right now and she just says her name is Jamie Cloth. Okay, what's your address? Okay, have you seen her photo, ma'am? Yes, it Does, is her. I 100% think it is her. Are you, okay. 100%. Does it look like she's going to run? No, she's sitting down, she's relaxing. Okay, hang on just a second. What's your name? Yep. What's your name, ma'am? Kristen Kaczynski. Kristen, how do you spell your last name? K-A-S. I-N-S. K-A-S. Okay, did she show up walking? Yeah, a neighbor just walked up with her to our house and asked us to call 911. Okay, hang on just a second. Are you cold? Do you need a blanket or anything? Okay. Do you need anything to drink or water or anything? Okay. Have you watched this show? <laughs> it's their favorite. I found Lincoln. <laughs> That's why we like Lincoln. Kristen, I'm going to keep you on the line, okay? Okay, yep. Sounds good. Kristen, is the neighbor that walked her up, is she still there? Yes, she is. Okay. We got, yeah. Can you ask the neighbor, did the female just walk up to her house, or how did she come across her? Hold on one second. She wants to know where she came from, how you got her, et cetera. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm going to ask you over here. Okay. Hi. Uh, I was Jamie Nutter. I was, we have a cabin up here in Gordon. On okay, ma'am. Ma'am. And I was Ma'am. Yes. Okay. Can I just get your name? Jeannie Nutter, N-U-T-C-E-R. Okay, and do you have a cabin address? Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm so free. No, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, we don't, I'm not up here very often in the winter. I just happen to come up today. Okay. And I didn't want to bring her to my cabin. So how did she come up upon your cabin? I was walking my dog, and we were almost home, and she was walking towards me, crying, saying, you got to help me, you got to help me. Okay. So I didn't want to go into my cabin because it's close to and she said her her name is Jamie Claus yep and when I walked into this house they recognized her immediately from the okay okay I got it I'm on 